Hey guys, I'm a cyborg sheep, and welcome to the weekend post. Today, gonna be building this. Let's get started. Okay, that looks like everything inside the box. So, uh, you didn't quite see this. It's a brush robot. Uh, basically, what it does, it uses like a little, let's see if I can find it in here. Little vibe motor with a little like weight, plastic weight at the end. Basically it vibrates. So, I have a brush, all the build parts, Instructiones. Whatever this thing is. Rules and stuff. I'm not sure. Garbage. Uh, yeah. Let's get started building. What you also need, aside from the kit and the brush, is a screwdriver. Just a normal, any normal Phillips head will do. Also, not strictly necessary, but just to make it all that much more sturdy, I'm going to use a soldering iron and some solder, which I should probably go and get. Also, curses you cheapo man manufacturers, make me use double A's. Also, yeah, I must have been reading it wrong. Uh, I don't know if you could see that there. If you would focus, come on. Okay, I guess not. Anyways, triple A's, not double A's, my bad. Let's get started building.
Okay, there we go. All finished. Wasn't too, too, too hard of a build. I will mention one thing, though. Um, just make sure you're not, you don't be, get, uh, too overconfident with these builds. In, in that, don't screw on things that might seem, uh, like, easy. Like, for example, this here. Don't screw it on before you slide the brush in. Because it's hard to, like, slide the brush in once you've stuck this in without it. And the fact that there's foam on there. Yeah, you're just... No way. Um, but anyways. Let's go and try it out. Style points. And before we go... One more thing, this, this, uh, the direction this thing goes in, left, right, uh, forward, backward, it's adjusted by adjusting the, uh, placement of this brush. You'd expect it to be, uh, facing the other way around, but then the instructions here, uh, nope, other way around. So, um, for my first maneuver, I want it to go forward, so what I'm going to do is loosen that, bring it down slightly, and then tighten it up. Okay, there we go. So now, let's, uh, or well, this, this will actually make people go backwards, so let's loosen that. put it as high up as we possibly can without it losing its grip. Okay, so let's go and try it out. All right, let's try it. Hey! Ha ha ha! Oh, that's, that's so cool! Yeah, let's fix it. Whoa! That's cool. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. And check that out. It's actually dusting. Let's, uh, we're gonna send it over here. Pick up some more dust. Now all we gotta do is grab the vacuum cleaner and, uh, that's GG. Hashtag brush robot. This was cooler than I expected it to be. Oh, there's stuff there. Oh, boy. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Something that'd be really cool to incorporate is, uh, because what happens is to adjust the direction and stuff, the speed and forward and backward and stuff, that is changed by doing, uh, uh changing, uh, the orientation and height of this brush. So if this was way, way high up here, um, this would actually go backwards. Something pretty cool, I'd think. Uh, so, but what, what would be cool that we could do is maybe toss a couple of servo motors on here. And, and maybe like an Arduino or, I don't know, something. 
maybe even a con just a controller and uh, make it so that uh, um, it make it so that it uh, can roll around on its own, you know, kind of like an obstacle avoidance system. Like, so it's going, it sees the wall, er, turn, go, kind of thing. But I say that, and I'll probably never get to it because of all the projects that I have going on. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, this video might turn out to be a little bit short. Um, but uh, other than that, I think it was pretty cool. Uh, man, this thing is actually kind of awesome. Um, it'll be it'll be even cooler if I if I ever get around to making the modifications. But you know, there's always gonna be modifications to make the things semi right. So, anyways, um, sorry that I didn't upload last weekend. I tried to upload last weekend, but uh, something happened with YouTube. It, it was weird. Like, it wouldn't let me upload uh, for some odd reason. It would let me put the video into the upload page, but it wouldn't let, let me uh, put it up live. So, I don't know why that happened. So, I'm going to try to upload that video again this week. So, that means double upload for you guys. Am I right? Am I right? Um, so, yeah, basically, I think that's it for now. So, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.